Y yeah, um, there are a couple of students that I've taken that live in Chicago. Uh, it's Ben, this Kyle. Ben actually goes to college out here. Not this college, it's wherever. Yeah, um, wherever. <laughs> wherever. You can ask them their, <laughs> their, yeah, their experience. But basically, those are curious. It's like three days and three nights. We're going to call like hard work and hard play or three days and three nights of the suck. It does suck because it's a lot about eliminating your fears and confronting your fears. But it can be also be a lot of fun. Um, Pictures of me up there? No, not this one. I wonder, this is an interesting one because this guy was in what he called the National Guard and he was telling his story. This is when we were in Miami and he was in Afghanistan and he was driving one of those APCs, armored personnel carrier, down like this, this you know, non existent road in Afghanistan. And so they hit an IED, this mine, you know, the wheel, the tracks go off, they come under fire and this RPG goes blasting through the window, hits their radio, a satellite radio, so they're out of communication. And they have to get out of the APC and start you know, like firing back, and I guess you're supposed to charge an ambush to make them flee. I'm like looking at this guy and like, wait a minute, you're scared to talk to women? Like, what the fuck? All right, the thing is, as Gareth mentioned, we are. It is very terrifying until we train ourselves to just be very zen-like in its outcome. So. This is what we do. I've um, been doing it for quite a while. And you can ask all of our other alumni here about their experience. You can hear it from the horse's mouth. So we've been at this for the last two hours. Are there any questions? We try to hit a lot of different topics. <laughs> any videos? Uh, yes. Um, any of you in the field? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, any, any other questions? Real quick. As no, nothing, you can stories. hook this up. We'll go, yeah. Tips for girls. Yes. 2011. Wow. <laughs> 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 Honestly, like there's nothing cooler. Like I, I literally have gone to a club, probably on average three or four nights a week for the past four years of my life, and like probably 20 girls have approached me, just going over and saying, hey. Finding out a person's name or something um, is will you know you never know it could open up so many <coughs> opportunities. Um, and then my other tip is smile, always smile because when guys you can unhook this. Like, yeah. women look and they see guys and guys are in the club like oh that guy's either mean or an asshole or a serial killer. Guys kind of think <coughs> a different version of that. They see a woman and she's not smiling and they go oh, she's in a bad mood she's not gonna be too. No point, I'll never win ever not. You know, take take the bull by the horns for sure, because like this is the only this is the only time you're ever see that. And that may be the only time you ever see that one guy. So walk over and, and say, Hey, what's up? What should you do if you're a guy with a girl's name? <laughs> Shorten it. What is your name? I would say continue to be oh. a guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> understand that it has no effect on you at all. Like my real name is Jerry. Um, I go by JT. I, I haven't. Only my mom calls me Jerry. Like I, I discovered, my mom was telling me one day where she got the name. This is back in the seventies, and there was this one very popular cartoon in the 70s. And I'm like, when my mom told me that, I'm never going by Jerry. So I go by JT. Like, you know, I tell girls, like the Asian Justin Timberlake, you know? Yeah, Rose is a name by any other. So here's a quick video. Uh, I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Hey guys, JT here. And welcome to the... So... That's you. That's me. Look at that. Big screen. Um... Just gonna briefly go through this. Let's see. Here, yeah. Here it is. This is like a critique of what happened. You look Italian. Thanks. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I wonder if you see it. Basically what's happening is if I can get this right. <laughs> Alright. I'm being rejected by this two set. Okay? First thing I'm going to show you is I'm being rejected. I want you also, can't really see it, but I, I just walk away. I want you to notice a couple things. So this, I, I'm just talking, I critique it. <laughs> 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 Not so.
Alright, alright. At the very start of this video. So, <laughs> that's it. Uh, gonna... So, I get rejected, and what you'll see is, I'm thinking, I haven't got the timing down quite yet on this. So, after all this talking, I talk a lot. <laughs> Get down. How fast it takes me to talk to the next girl. Five seconds. Five seconds. I, I get rejected. <laughs> I got this face. It takes me five seconds to talk to the next girl. I mean, I get rejected. Doesn't phase me whatsoever. I say, hello, nice talking to you. Turn around, I see this tall blonde. I say, hello, you are just lovely. And I'm going to kiss her twice, make out over twice in under four minutes. Write that down. Hello. H E L L O. Let's see. It's <laughs> <laughs> so basically. Yeah. Hi, hey, hi. Start talking to her. Oh. Let's see. Uh, so. Am I going to do? Hmm. At one point, she actually says that she's gonna. She has to join her friends. I'm like, no, you don't. You're gonna stay here. Um, yeah, I don't quite have the timing. I'm trying to find. I about two minutes in. I'm actually not cussing, I'm just like, you know, blurring out her name. Um, and then it's just talking and talking. And what you'll notice is like, half the time I don't know what I'm really saying. And it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. It's like how you say it. Um, so. I thought you were just reading from underneath here. Yeah. <laughs> from Dallas, goes in. Let me get to. Oh, yeah. I studied aerospace engineering. This is my pickup line. It doesn't work. No one's impressed that I used to work for NASA. <laughs> so she has gum? So she says, like, I just asked, do you have gum? She's like, just the one in my mouth. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so let's share. So. Do you have any kiss? Do you want to care? Uh, no, no, really? I'll suck it out of your face, buddy. Are you serious? You've got to give me a little bit more than that. Bam, said the lady. It's just four minutes in, and I just kissed the girl. Right, just like in the beginning of the video when I showed you me getting rejected by those two girls. And then how effortlessly, without any hesitation. That's it. And this more. Well, again, you know, we haven't actually released this yet, but um, it's basically the idea is, you know, just being non affected by what other people do. This is who you are. If you like her, you go for it. Um, so there you go. We also have like day game infield where we're like meeting women during the day. Any other things? Any other questions? Coffee shop. Like one of. Um, One of uh, my first students, very first one-on-ones, um, got married about last year. And this is a guy that you know, came from Korea, Korean kind of American fob. And he's about five foot two. And he met, he met this, <laughs> <met this African-American lady at the coffee shop. And this is, imagine, a very beautiful five foot ten black woman. And you, know, you can imagine like all the people at the coffee shop like, what the fuck's going on here? He just goes up to her and says she's beautiful. And about a year later, they did get married. So it's, like, yeah. no, go ahead. I like that question because a lot of people ask things like that. Um, 
you know, a lot of people say you're never going to meet your future husband or your future wife in a bar. Um, I always say that it's an interesting thought process because if you're interesting and you're fun and you're capable and competent and attractive and, you know, self-motivated and you're in a bar, there's absolutely no reason to assume <coughs> you wouldn't meet somebody similar uh, in that style to, you know, to you in that bar um, or in that club. Uh, there's a lot, there's always girls that are like out for their friend's birthday. You know, and a lot of times, you know, the girls that are like, um, I met a girl that was, um, she was a physician, and she was at a birthday party, and she didn't want to be there. And she was like, it was a place called Colony in L.A., and um, Hollywood, and she was like, she was like, I just don't want to be here. And a lot of times, that's like kind of the most fun girl to talk to. It's like, well, why don't you like this? Oh, because everyone's so boring. Well, let's you and I stick together, because all these people are boring, too. Um, but the first step of failure is... Um, is assuming you know something that you don't actually know. Um, is assuming you know that that girl doesn't like, you know, guys, or assuming that that girl's gonna be a bitch, or assuming that that girl's not smart because she's in a club or wearing a skirt or something like that. Um, so I always keep my keep my, my options open, keep my mind open for sure. But uh, one of her, we're not gonna name names because he wants his privacy. But one of her um, interns, who's no longer an intern, that's because he met his future wife on a boot camp that he was helping out. Yeah. So he's now married. So it happens. But like to answer your question during the day for me. <laughs> <laughs>